The White House was on lockdown for several hours on Thanksgiving Day while the first family celebrated inside. The Secret Service says a man is in custody for jumping the White House fence. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is in the newsroom with those details. Gabby, good morning. Good morning, Lauren. You know, this is a here we go again scenario because this isn't the first time this has happened. The fence jumper managed to get through two barricades and ended up being taken into custody on the White House lawn. He bypassed a security measure that was recently put in place specifically to guard against an incident like this happening yet again. A photographer captured the moment Joseph Caputo, wearing gloves, draped in an American flag, hopped the fortified White House fence, holding a binder in his mouth before throwing his arms in the air, seemingly in celebration. I just heard him take a big, deep breath and whisper to himself, like, all right, let's do this. And he took off. He jumped over the barricade and then climbed the fence. And once he uh, went over, he kind of like lifted his arms up. The intruder dropped to his knees with his hands in the air as the Secret Service rushed in to arrest him. It was chaotic. Everyone around us was yelling and kids were crying. Like, it was pretty unexpected. His flag was put into an evidence bag while a bomb squad searched the White House lawn. The fact that the intruder made it over the fence raises questions about the security upgrades put in place over the summer. In July, new spikes were installed on the white fence to make it harder to climb. The Secret Service called that a temporary security measure until a long-term solution can be implemented. The incident follows a series of embarrassing incidents for the Secret Service, including a security breach where a fence jumper was able to get inside of the White House and make it all the way to the East Room. He was one of three men to jump the fence last year. And Caputo was not armed. Criminal charges against him are pending, but at this point we don't really have any idea why he jumped the fence or what was in that binder. We're live in the newsroom. Gabby Fleischman, CBS4 This Morning.